I'm Dan Cole, England and Les Tigers prop. And today I'm going to talk through um, a bit of scrummaging. It's a way of being a weapon, psychologically and physically. Uh, I've got a couple of assistants, which is Tom Youngs, who's a hooker, and Tom Wood, who's a flanker. You know, as part of training, we use a, a thing called the scrum machine. The important thing for a scrum is, is the tight end. For me, as a hooker, it's making sure he's comfortable. He's the anchor point. He's the guy who's going to cause the most damage at the scrum time. A like, hooker will always take them up first, and then he'll, I'll bind up my um, tight head first. The tight head. So I'll bind his waistband, he'll bind under my yep. armpit. On I'll rack. pull my shoulder out so we're both square. We want him to hit first. You can see he's got his shoulder out ahead of the hooker because he is the man that takes the most strain. That's why he's built the way he is. It's because he's the man that's got to hold the scrum down and anchor it. Yeah. At this point, we'll call him the second row. Talk through that. The second row will come in. So crouch. We'll then touch, the props will touch to make sure that the space between the two isn't too far apart. From the set, we'll engage. Part of my job is to be able to control my shoulders the height of this scrum and the height of these two players. Sometimes the hook will may stay onto me a little bit, so I've got to control him a little bit. It's crucial. He has a nice flat back, slight hollow here, so that force is really strong going straight through him. And his legs are at a very good angle with his studs in the floor. If we begin to fatigue within a scrum and our position changes and we become compromised and our hips lift like this, which is a tendency to do, we're now vulnerable because guys can get under us and lift us out of the scrum, and that can result in a dangerous collapse of the scrum or just an ineffective scrum and a penalty. So what we're looking for is to drop the hips, sink, keep all attention on our legs here, strong through the core, nice hollow back, and that allows me, as a flanker or number eight, or a second row, to transfer all that pressure straight through these guys here. So once we're in this strong position, we've made a good hit. As the ball comes in, we'll sink our hips, We'll drop from the hips here and we call it bearing our weight through from the chest and the hips and get that scrum moving forward. But when a scrum comes together, there's no way around it. You've got to hit and you've got to match the opposition bare minimum. It's a, a battle of mind and body. You've just got to have that willingness and that determination just to keep just keep going through it. And you're sort of in there and you're like, well, I know the guys around me aren't going to give up and then suddenly you probably get the tendency to go forward. The scrimmage is a way to mentally and physically break the opposition. You know, it's a way to win the game.